I think we become so passionate about the deen when you go through that transition mm. of awakening that sometimes we become like just so consumed with okay well then I don't actually care about anything anymore yeah. because yeah, when yeah. you when you fall in love with the deen alhamdulillah bro when you fall in love with the deen naturally you fall a bit out of love with the dunya mm -hmm. and that's so beautiful mm -hmm. and it's so amazing but sometimes we're so passionate about it at that time that it's like we also forget that like First of all, how we represent ourselves impacts people around us that we want to we want to change the people around us, our families and friends. And if they look at us on the outside, because they can't see our heart. And for us, it's like, oh, our heart's been cleaned, right? Mm -hmm. But they can't see our heart. So when they see us, they only see on the outside, and like, oh, all of a sudden he's changed and he's always looking rough now. He's always like like not caring about things and, and he has this mentality that like, oh, whatever, I don't care. And we do do that, bro, sometimes. Yeah. And I think that... It's like when, when someone first starts practicing, they're really rough and tough with their family and friends. Yep. And then over time, they realize that they need to be softer in order to, mm -hmm. in order to impact them. And it's likewise, we, become, we sometimes we become so out of love with the dunya straight away that we almost don't care about it at all. Mm -hmm. And we need to just care about it enough to have it in our hands at least. 100%. And, and when I remember, again, you, make, you talk about the transition. Uh, you know, when you're in the transition of basically you start practicing and stuff, you become a bit harsh and you're like, no, I don't care about anything. You know, that's it sort of thing. And then, of course, with time, you realize that we have to pray Salah every day. We have to do Ibadat every day. And we have to, it's very difficult to keep that basically going for like your whole life because otherwise people will just not speak to you, leave sure. you. And it's very, it's very tough to even have a conversation with you. So, yeah. As Muslims, we have to be approachable. You know, someone should feel comfortable coming up to me, speaking to me about an issue maybe he or she is having, you know. And so these things are very, very needed. And yes, of course, 100%, we make it sometimes an issue. We make it ourselves an issue where... We have to understand if we are starting to practice, the other person should see that the deen is making him into a better person, uh, uh, more of a family person, more you know, caring to his parents, his family, uh, better to his friends. Uh, if it's not impacting you in a positive way, unknowingly, maybe the person who is looking at you, for example, you come across rough, unapproachable, you don't want to talk to anyone, maybe it's going to affect you in a negative way where the person's like, oh, I don't. Is this Islam basically? This is what Islam teaches us. So 100% that like, it can't generally impact people in a negative way.